person has been vaccinated against COVID-19, the person has antibodies against the spike protein. And we have shown in clinical trials that most definitely there's protection against severe disease. The extent of the protection is not yet known from uh, an immune system perspective. But what is absolutely clear is that this vaccine prevents against severe disease and also against death from COVID. It is key to get the vaccination. The reason for that is twofold. The first is we don't know how long the immunity lasts after natural infection. What we have shown though is if persons have severe disease or if they have vaccination first time around, if they come across COVID again, they're far less likely to get severe disease. What the immunologists are telling us, the people who study their immune system, is that the more antibodies you have against COVID, the stronger your protection and the less likely you are to get severe disease. It's never a good idea to get a vaccine against anything if you have a current illness. If you have symptoms of any kind, um, diarrhea, vomiting, fever, you know, feeling off color, rather wait. So studies have shown us that people who have comorbidities have higher chances of having severe COVID disease and death. So really, persons who have comorbidities, particularly hypertension, diabetes, obesity, these people, us who have these comorbidities, are the people who need the vaccine the most and who are likely to derive maximal benefit from the vaccine. The COVID vaccine protects against COVID. The vaccine has the spike protein in it that causes antibodies against the spike protein. The flu vaccine protects against flu. Our immune systems are not interchangeable. If we vaccinated against COVID, we'll be protected against COVID and particularly severe COVID disease. If we vaccinated against influenza, we'll be protected against that strain of influenza. So in other words, we do need to take both vaccines, but it is not a good idea to have them at the same time. And so there is a recommendation that one should wait 14 days between having either the COVID vaccine or the flu vaccine. Now, given the severe outcomes of COVID, if you have a choice, go for the COVID vaccine first and the flu vaccine afterwards. So what the recommendation is currently is that a person who's received a vaccine still adhere to all the good principles that we've learned about now around preventing transmission of disease. And these include wearing masks, hand sanitizing, and social distance.